Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays AI the Somnium Files. Today we uh we're gonna do the cold storage warehouse last, so I guess it really doesn't matter which one we go to. Let's go to Sajima's residence first. I'm sure we'll get some flack by the guards and so if he's there. Or we'll get a car ride. Key person of interest in this case. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. I checked the call logs of So's phones. Congressman Sajima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. How much of a burner phone if you can actually get get traced back to you? To be fair, they <laughs> actually I think this was in the news recently. That might have been. I think that was an app, but like. There are, like, quote-unquote, like, you know, those pay-by-the-minute phones that you can buy. Some of them are owned by law enforcement. Not many, but they, like, they send them out to the areas that they think that might be kind of, like, uh, susceptible or something like that. Uh, even, like, or they set up websites these days. Like, recently in the news, they, uh, they busted a bunch of people because they had, like, an app that they sold that was like, hey protect your, uh, your your all your data and information and and of course criminals like yeah I need to I need to protect all my data and information I do a lot of crime so I don't want that traced back to me and of course it was run by the government <laughs> so like they're just like you guys are idiots all right let's go bust all these people don't know how <laughs> don't know how well except that it is by like the public or anything like that but at the same time that's kind of smart right if you know criminals are going to be looking for something like that, I, I, you know, I think it's, that's kind of like an ingenious way, like develop an app that's like, hey, yeah, this is a VPN that just protects your data and everything like that. And then you just <laughs> fucking do all this illegal shit and they're like, hey, gotcha. We have all of that logged. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? But I do have something. I looked into So's secretary's phone. He has a secretary? One call in particular stood out to me. That makes sense. He's a politician. Huh? It was one week ago. From Fuchu Prison. The caller identified themselves as inmate number 89. Mmm, okay. Number 89? Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. I know who killed Shogun Adami. Mm-hmm. We really didn't need that brief flashback. I kind of, I kind of got it. Oh, we can do the car thing. Okay. When you crash, the first thing you hit is the dash. That's true. Interesting. And also, the last thing that goes through your mind is your butt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Passenger seats. Dante, oh. can I move the shifter around? This is gonna be a dirty joke. No, don't. Resist the urge. No? Okay. This box is where you keep your doves. It's not a dove box. I mean, it might be. Have you opened it lately? <laughs> this is just decaying doves in there. Date, this reminds me of Egyptian mythology. How so? Hathor, the mother of Ra. The mirror was one of her sacred symbols. I know. I play Dragon Quest. Wasn't she a cow or something? Rude. Uh, I think that's it, though. Okay. Aiba. Uh, who is 89? Or what is 89's name? Unknown. How? You don't know? He is not registered in any databases. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Or just tried really hurt, uh, hard to lose his accent. Uh, who is 89? Or where? What jail is he in, I guess? Or what's he in jail for? Murder! He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. He was imprisoned six years ago. Six years ago? Okay, who is 89? From what I can determine, he is an assassin. Yeah. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. 
His code name is Falco. Falco? Correct. Falco Punch. Yeah, no, we already learned this in a different timeline. Uh, what's the relationship between So and 89? Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. Number 89 said he knew who killed Shoko. He did, but that may be a lie. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. Uh, summarize for me, I guess. Number 89. Should we visit Fuchu Prison? Sure. No, we don't have time. Or not. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought to Abyss. Roger. Name's Date, but sure. Roger. You can call me whatever you want, I guess. Hi! I heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. Isn't your investigation over? N no? Nice pond. I have a look. A merman. So is a wealthy politician. It is no surprise to me that he has a merman. Really? Wait, a merman? Oh, hey everybody. I'm a merman. <laughs> I heard a strange voice just now. Could it be that I'm losing it? Absolutely. This is an island. A very tiny island. I would call it a rock. Not a rock lobster, though. What was that over there? There. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like mochi. I don't really know. I never had. I never had mochi. I think. This is the grocery store up the street from me used to sell. Uh, what kind do you prefer? These pork buns. They stopped selling them though. Those are delicious. Like well manicured lawn, but some bushes aren't bad either. I mean, what? Yeah. All right. Sure. A stone. Another one of these? It's not mochi. Okay, I guess I didn't examine it enough last time. <laughs> so it's just like, what are you doing? You just keep standing there and going in circles and looking at everything in my yard. Are you just not going to talk to me? Did you just come here to look at my yard? The answer is yes. I'm a gardener now. Hi. Why did y'all Shogo? You are beginning to irritate me. Oh, you don't even know, man. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. <sighs> Shut up in the knees! About 89. Number 89? Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. Can you actually do that? My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. I know you can write people. Can you Can you actually call, <laughs> like, a higher-ups politician secretary from jail? I'd imagine there would be some blocked numbers there. Uh, about 89? If you need information, you can ask her. Okay, where is she? I can't help you. Is she single? How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know that girl. I've never seen her before. Date. Liar! I knew he was lying. This proves it. Hold his head underwater! I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. Maybe he's an ASAT fan. After all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her he doesn't want us knowing. What are you hiding so? You're going to be an ASET fan, aren't you? Is that where this is going to go? I feel like that's where this is going to go. I told you I will not answer that question. And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. It appears that he will not respond. To be fair, we don't have a warrant. So we should torture Haven't him. Haven't you people got enough? I'm very busy. Excuse me. He says literally standing in front of his pod and feeding his fish, I'm assuming. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. To be honest, 
Kaname Date. I don't like you. I don't care. I don't ever want to see you again. Well, too bad. So I suggest that you don't show your face here anymore. It's what's best for both of us. Understand? I shot you in the head and it's a different timeline. So walked away sternly. Who does this guy think he is? Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. I know, it's a problem. Any higher could kill you. Really? <sighs> Relax, Date. Should I get meds for that? We still have much to do. Like, that shouldn't be a normal occurrence that your, blo your blood pressure rising to the, the height that could be harmful to you. I know, I know. Even when mad, that shouldn't be the case. Bridge. All right, I'm leaving now. Uh, marble. Hi. You need more info on Ren? I, I need any info on Ren. I'm sorry to waste your time, but I don't have anything for you. I see. My refrigerator? So cold, Mama. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Hey, I'm over here. Maybe you should not have a purple fridge. That way he wouldn't be able to make these jokes. Hey, Mama. What's with the pizza, fish, and chips? He, ew. He says with a question mark? I don't know how that would taste. I'm not really, like... I never had, like, fish on pizza before. I know there's anchovies. Which, for the longest time, I thought was just a thing from the Ninja Turtles, but apparently is a thing that people do. Uh, but... I know fish and shrimps are great, but at the same time... People used to call me that on the internet all the time. Guess it's stuck. They called you pizza, fish, and chips? Pizza, fish, and chips. Ah, oh, I see. Piece of fucking shit. Oh. <laughs> This, however, appears to be a simple Italian pizza with fish and french fries. Okay, I mean, I'd probably try it. Maybe, I don't know. If I was drinking, I'd definitely try it. Yeah, I don't know. I can't imagine, like, the taste of the fish with like pizza sauce and ch cheese it's it's just not it's not registering my brain like at all turn the Can tv on it's some boring riveting videos with balls and holes i don't know does someone shout booyah at the end of it sorry i don't like golf wasn't exactly the one i was referring to but sure hey date you know what I say when I turn into a drunk devil? No. Dev Ale. Okay. Clever, maybe? I don't really know. Uh, are we done? I think we're done. Down her. Don't even know her. Um. Why are you always brushing that fish? I thought it was polishing. I find it calming. Why is that? Don't ask me. <laughs> uh, how's it going? Well, I could use a little help down there, if you know what I mean. I do not know what she means. Perhaps you should take her up on her offer. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, about 89. Oh, Falco? You know him? I know him as a famous assassin in the underworld. Just rumors, though. Nothing specific. What kind of rumors? Mm, he's good. 100% success rate. No evidence. He was a world-class killer. Did you ever meet him? Nope. I don't even know what he looks like. Any other info? I know he's connected to the Kumakuras somehow. Them again. Of course. That's about it. How about Renju? You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I heard it from his own mouth right here. Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemnisgate? What's the talent scandal? Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemnisgate. But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to high school. 
What talent scandal? Hey, Dante. Have you ever seen a dead body? I mean, yeah. I remember Rendu saying that to me after he and I went out, went through a bottle. You're a policeman. I don't know what department, but I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. Well, maybe. So, how about it? I didn't answer. I turned the question around on him. What about him. you? Me? Well, yeah. Not just one. Okay, did you drink that or did you just sip it? Countless bodies. Or sniff it, not drink it. Because, like, you brought it up to your face. And then you didn't really take it back into your mouth. When I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. Was it cleaning up dead bodies? You know the Kumakura gang? I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. It was an easy job. Eventually... I became friends with the higher-ups. They started taking me with them on jobs. What jobs? Sounds like a horrible career choice, really, for a high school student. The target was always an elderly person from the country with no family. Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? They live every day in loneliness and desperation. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. You're a fucking scumbag, dog. Guys would get to know the old people and they would set up an adoption process. After that... You just have to get them really drunk, throw them in the tub full of hot water, and they pass. Just like that. Heart attack, brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. The police almost never investigated. It always looked natural, like they died of old age. So the adopted gang members would inherit the land. <laughs> then we sell it and make massive profits. I watched a lot of people get killed like that. So this is, these are our friends, Date, huh? And I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. So I... I... Why am I telling you all I don't this? know, maybe you want me to think less of you? Because, to be quite honest, I didn't think I could. But here we are. Are you going to arrest me? Yeah? I took a sip of my glass and didn't say anything for a you while. You didn't do it yourself, right? No, I was always the lookout. That's still worth being arrested. But still. Also okay, completes comeback I... still. Tears fell on the counter, unending. He didn't we didn't say another word until the ice in the glass had melted to nothing. And then I arrested him. Game over. No? Okay. Mama! What the fuck? I don't have anything else for you. Sorry, I'm not much help. That's fine. I, I, to be quite honest. Yeah, I, have you ever helped us? <laughs> like, legitimately? Like, given us any information? Um, okay, the first time we came here, yeah. So you did help no, a little don't bit. don't worry about it. Can you come back again tonight? No. There's a regular here who is good friends with Ren. They should be here tonight. If you ask him, he might have some information for you. Tonight? Yes. I'll be waiting for Can you. Can I bring an 18-year-old idol with me? To the warehouse. Oh man, like Red and Shoko suck. Like I'm, I'm glad they're dead in, mo in like the timelines we've done. I'm assuming Redden's probably dead in this timeline too, since we haven't found him. Um, with Iba in my left eye socket, I walked into the cold storage warehouse. I could see my breath. I looked around, shivering. Nothing seemed changed from last night, though. Uh, switchboard? A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Switch switchboard. Workbench. We first arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. At that time, lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body, covered with a white cloth. But the second time... The corpse was gone. It was 11.25 p.m. But the body could not have simply vanished. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. When did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m. After we finished sinking with So. It took them an hour and a half to get here? That's kind of messed up. Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. The report does not specify. Oh, they're in So's pocket, Perhaps aren't they? a result of outside influence. Yeah. Outside influence. In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. 
Examining it. I mean, it is a nice bench. A forklift. lift. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. That seems like a waste of money and equipment. Uh, there box. There are numerous cardboard boxes on the shelves. There is nothing abnormal about them. Really? Nothing? Hi, I'm Jermaimon. What? Iba, the jokes. You've got to stop. I don't get it. Is that a Digimon reference? The box. It's a wooden box. There is nothing inside. Okay, well, I'm going to examine it again. Shelves. There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. I mean, fair enough. Rain? The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. How do you even know that? You weren't... Oh, you came in the second time, right? Yeah. That machine is used to cut ice. Or Oda. Do they store ice here? A forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. This has been a productive use of our time. We searched the warehouse again, but we didn't find anything. Nothing. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. Let's get going. Date, your temperature is dropping. Because I'm in a cold warehouse. At this rate, they might find your body in here. Leave Abyss. I return to Abyss HQ with Iba. I need to talk to Boss. As I enter the room, Boss smiled like she was waiting for me. I took care of what you asked for. You killed so? Thanks! Number 89? Oh, He's that. here. In the interrogation room. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. One of the higher-ups needs me. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Okay. Understood. Oh, are you gonna go kill so? Oh, now you're just reusing cutscenes, dog. Hi, I'm Date. Nice to meet you. Heart attack. Let's get started. I'm thinking about computer. God damn it, computer! Get into my line of sight. I want to examine you. Pipe. Camera. Nothing. Okay. I mean, the room is pretty empty. That dashing fella right there. Um. All right, dog. Hi. What's your name? Number 89. Your real name. Dumbass. No, no, I forgot. Really? Uh, where you from? Djibouti. Djibouti? Northeast Africa. A small republic of roughly 900,000. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. Uh, how many people have you killed? I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. I mean, that's fair. Oh, you know about that. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. Ah, uh, what'd you tell him? I told him to call somebody. Somebody? I can't tell you anymore. <sighs> ah, about Shogu's murder. All right, let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Yes, I promise. I'm lying. <laughs> You're lying. I know. You don't want to release me. That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Here's what I mean! 
Your feet aren't chained up? What kind of fucking place is this? Pewter, what the fuck's going on? You'll make a good hostage for me. Take me to the exit. Now. You guys don't chain up the feet in this prison? Or jail? What? Where are we? The headquarters. Interrogation room. Dog, you... you standard procedure is they get their hands chained to the table and then they get their feet chained to the floor so they can't do that shit. Oh, Hi. Darn. Are you kidding me? A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. We need to get number 89 back before then. This place is incompetent. He says keyhole for it. He says as he examines everything in the Same room. You, Date. What do you mean by that? I have a keyhole. It's on the bottom. Oh man. This place. <laughs> Good AC impression. So now you're ogling me too? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I don't get that one. I thought you were, like, I don't get the whole... Like, I, know, I, I guess I'm checking Date out, but Date, I don't... Date, pewter. Once we're done here, let's pop that bottle. Sure. I don't get, like, the whole, like, breathing thing, though. Not a bad idea. But when the boss gets drunk, she has the tendency to crush balls. In that case, perhaps we should never solve this case. Oh, cause you're yeah, AI, AI ball. I get it. We'll talk to Pewter in a second. I wanna go to Suzukino. I don't give a shit, Mario. Why the hell wouldn't you chain up his feet? That's nostalgic. When I was a kid, I used to put a broom between my legs and pretend to be a witch. Okay. Holy shit, that was like the most normal thing <laughs> that, that you could have said out of that. I don't, know, I don't know why I was expecting something else when you started talking. Spiking is an important part of volleyball. Hmm. Spiking. Spike. Spike Chun? What is that? The company. Is that where they get their name? Wait a minute. Did you let number 89 escape on purpose? So that you could catch the bigger fish? Yeah, boss. Exactly. I was kidding. What? Alright. I still don't understand how you didn't have his feet chained to the ground. Or better yet, why the fuck wasn't the table... A shogi player gave that to me. Like, bolted into the ground either. I think his name was... Hanyo? Uh, maybe he on you. Yep, that's him. Did he crush his balls? Probably. Man, why wouldn't you? <laughs> it's still blowing my mind. Like the table wasn't bolted down. I really like chairs. I, okay, you don't have to say it all creepily. The, t the table wasn't bolted down. His legs weren't chained down to the floor. Apparently his legs weren't even chained together either. That's also something that happens. They look delicious. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> You know, I thought Peter was gonna be the low-key normal one. I want to know dressed up kind of weird. Snowboard right about now. Then allow me to say this: I will slalom away from that attack. Not funny. I, I get. I don't know. Is that a snowboarding reference? Also, if you just heard a like a loud banging noise. That would be the pavement company Boss, packing I up their shit across the street. Bike into a 
coffee grinder. You use the pedals to grind the beans. Oh, that'd be kind of neat. Why the hell did you do that? That would be, ah, be kind of neat. I don't know how practical it would be of use, but at the same time. They were kind and had a big smile. Such a shame. Okay. This is talking about the guy's head that you severed and put in that? Yeah. A coat hanger. Masks. Reminds me of your ex, Dante. Wow. It shouldn't. Can we meet this person? <laughs> right, I think we're done. Uh, no, symbols. Dante, look. Didn't I you examine wrong. these? That's a symbol. I swore we examined the. Oh, rug. Clock. If you had the power to stop time, what would you do? No comment. Do you even have to ask? Your heart rate is increasing rapidly. Uh, boss mania. Sure. All right. That is going to be it for today. We'll talk to these two next time. See you later.